Lewis Howes has been a part of pretty much every Vipers touchdown celebration. Within a few years, he was making millions of dollars and helping others achieve their dreams through his book and podcast, The School of Greatness, Lewis Howes. I'm excited to be here, guys. Grant, what an incredible experience. I've been hanging out. The passion, the energy that everyone has here is so incredible, so I'm very excited about this. So this is how I run my entire business and my brand. This is how I think. This is how I breathe, move. This is how I communicate. Everything I do is based off of this next slide. This is a good dude, folks. Give him a big hand. Lewis House, all right? Thank you so much. Grant Cardone is the man. Love this audience. 2,000 plus amazing people. We talked about how to tennis your online brand, build a, a celebrity personal brand, and make more money. So Grant Cardone, make sure you guys come here next year. It's game changer. Professional athlete, Olympian, New York Times bestselling author, multi-million dollar entrepreneur online. I mean, if you saw the way he run, runs his business compared to the way I run mine, you'd be like, you know what? Between Lewis House and Grant Cardone, they, I might have some hope. <laughs> Consider five of, of the uh, five internet gurus who can make you rich. Am I on that list or no? This was years before you even came out, man. Yeah. You guys had that big head start on me. <laughs> hey, great to have you here, buddy, and can't, can't wait Thank to spend uh, three or four days with you at the 10X Growth Conference. I'm pumped, man. If people haven't got their ticket yet, make sure you get two, three, five, ten, and 100 tickets because it's going to be an experience you will always talk about, and it's going to drastically help you increase your business from the information that all the speakers are going to be sharing, all the networking, all the behind the scenes, all the private events, everything that's happening, it's going to be a game changer. So make sure to get your ticket. Uh, it's going to be unbelievable. Yeah, and just for full disclosure, so everybody knows, Lewis is not pay being paid to come to this event. I'm not. He has chosen to fly there, spend time there. How, how many days are you staying, Lewis? Uh, I'll probably be there for two days. Yeah, it all depends on if someone pays me to go speak somewhere else, you know. Yeah, he, he might be there the whole time. <laughs> I might be there the whole time. Last time was great. So I might and be and you used time. a word earlier when you opened this. You said an experience. Why, why do you call this an experience? It's an experience because people are flying in from all over the world who are committed to extraordinary financial results in their business. And as you know, financial results create a lot more freedom in life. And without the financial freedom, we aren't able to make certain choices and have the luxuries that we want. You talk about this all the time. Um, and so for me, it's like, ha listen, and having all the money in the world isn't going to solve all your problems, but it's going to allow you to solve a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, that's what it's about. It's being able to serve your community better, being able to create more powerful products and services because you have the money to offer better resources. It's about being able to serve your employees better, your team, partnerships better. And without earning more in our business, we are doing a disservice to humanity, in my mind, if we're not supporting people who are in our community. Dude, I, I love the language? way – I love this. I love this, what you're talking about. Who is this new Lewis House I'm hearing? <laughs> when, I do a, when I do an interview with Grant Cardone and he talks about making a billion dollars and how he's going to impact the world through the, the financial abundance – it just uh, it reiterates the importance of making money. And listen, I talk a lot about impact and income because yeah. I think if we're just making a lot of income, it's a very unfulfilling, fleeting, selfish lifestyle. Totally, totally. And I know you're in alignment with that. Uh, so for me, I probably lead more with like the impact lingo. But I'm around you. I talk more about money because I get excited. You know, and for those that uh, don't know, I'm just publicly letting people know who are watching or listening that I cut a check for Grant to invest in the real estate stuff because I don't know anything about real estate. But I know Grant does know a lot about that because of what he's created, the wealth he's created there. So I put my money into things, funds, people who know things who are much smarter than me, uh, and I let the money work for me. So um, that's why going to this event, you're going to tap into experts who have done things that you haven't done yet. Uh, and you're going to be able to learn something, whether you're – investing in different things or buying programs, whatever it may be, even just taking one idea from this conference, this experience, 
could help you drastically increase your financial freedom for the next 12 months and beyond. And, and that's what it's about. It's, it's getting the resources that we, that we want, that we desire so that we can have a more meaningful life and, and be able to serve and support more people. So but again, I, I, Lewis, I, wanna, I just want to make sure to emphasize yeah. like the importance of doing it to have the freedom for yourself, but also making sure you have a responsibility to give back. And I know you're a big, uh, well, dude, like, like, influence on giving back. Yeah, totally. Like, I think a lot of people want to give back, but I mean, I always wanted to give back, but every time I looked, I didn't have anything to give. <laughs> back, forward, sideways. I just didn't have anything to give. I was too worried about my rent. And I know exactly. you came from that very same place. Like, like you came from a situation where you you had to ask your sister, "Hey, I need a place to live." Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you know this about me, but when I was 25, I came out of the treatment center, dude. I couldn't pay the rent. I had to go back. I had to move back into my mother's house when I was 25 years old. Wow. So when people talk about millennials moving back in with their mom, I'm like, I did that. Yeah. But I didn't do it forever. Yeah. There's no, sh I, don't, I don't think there's any shame in having to get support and go move back in with family or friends at certain points. But then that should be the wake up call to say, I need to figure this out. I need yeah. to like invest in myself. I need to surround myself with people who have figured it out and learn from them. And I know you learned from mentors early on. You got programs. You went to conferences. You did whatever you could to get the information to then go take action and, t and overcome those fears. And I think if anyone watching right now hasn't don't have, you don't have a game plan of how you're going to earn more next year. If you're just like, well, hopefully this will work. Don't come up with a place of hope. Go to a, uh, an experience that you know there's a lot of people who have made it work for themselves in multiple different areas of business, and that's what this is about. What, what advice, uh, Lewis, would you give for somebody coming, like in preparation stage? Because they have 60 days right now between now and the event. Yeah, research the speakers and Good. learn more so, about the speakers. Uh -huh. Yeah, learn more, you know, maybe go to their website, check them out on social media, start to learn about uh, what they've done, what they've created. That way, if you get a chance to meet some of them or ask a question, that you don't ask a dumb question because you haven't done the research, but you actually ask something that helps the other 10,000 people who are in attendance. And you're mindful of the time of the speakers when you meet them in person, and you ask them something that they know you did your homework and they're going to say, wow, I really want to support this person more and help them in any way that I can. So research the speakers and start learning about the things that they've done to get there uh, before you get to the event. That'd be step one. And, step and two, let me just yeah. add to that, Lewis, I think because the other piece of that is when I know where Lewis came from, when I know what he's been through, when I know what he's working on right now, you know, I could ask him a question like, dude, how'd you get the Ellen gig? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, and I wouldn't ask him that in adoration of, oh my God, that's so cool. Like, how do right. I get the? What are the steps get? you did? What are the things that happened in exactly. order to create that? Yeah, yeah. Or how did you invest in your first uh, hundred unit uh, property thing? You know, whatever it may be, the deal that you did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that'd be the first thing I would do. The second thing I would do is uh, don't go alone. Bring a friend. Bring a business partner. Bring an, a, a, an employee. Bring uh, someone who can can pick up the areas that you're going to miss because there's a lot of information that you're, that's going to be there and it's hard to consume all of it yourself. But if you have one person who's like, Hey, I'm going to be at this session, but I, but I need you to go like talk in the back room with this person at this time. So let's kind of tag team it. Yeah, so we yeah. can consume as much information as possible. So bring a friend, bring a coworker, bring your business partner. Yeah. Definitely. Great. great I, don't, advice, I don't know man. if you have a deal for two tickets or not, but, uh, that's what people should do. So, so you're eating at a buffet. Me, me and Lewis, I went to a gig that he was doing in LA. He knew people there in the buffet mm -hmm. that I didn't know. I was about to leave. He's like, no, no, I need you to, I need to, I, you need to meet this guy. So that's the yeah. other advantage of two people there. Sometimes my wife will order something off the menu that I would have never gotten. Exactly. And here's the thing, you know, having an extra, per you can only do so many, you can only meet so many people and build quality relationships as one person. If you have another person with you, you can kind of tag team and maybe we learn something new that's going to help uh, solve a big challenge of ours in our yeah, company. Yeah. And that one conversation gave us the idea to how to solve that. Or maybe I meet someone in the audience who becomes a business partner or we collaborate or whatever it may be. And you wouldn't have been able to do that by yourself, you needed another person or someone else to be there to to tap into that information. Because there's going to be a lot of very smart people, not only speakers, uh, but people in attendance. I remember being there last year, 
and or this year I should say, but I remember being there and there were so many powerful entrepreneurs. I was flying home after the event and there was a bunch of people on my plane coming back to LA and they kept coming up to me and they were telling me like, I run a $10 million a year business in Orange County. That's like plumbing business. And I was like, dude, you're pretty smart, man. Like right. I can learn from you. So the attendees. Dude, I have a quality audience, right? Super quality. Here's the thing. And I met someone else who does like advertising in LA and I was like, oh, I want to learn from you. So the, the, atten the people you sit next to are going to be just as brilliant in something as the people that are on stage. So even if you don't meet the speakers, like there's going to be some powerhouse players there. And listen, when there's a premium price for an experience, you're going to get premium quality of people in a, at, at an experience. If it's, you know, 20 bucks, then you never know what you're going to get. Uh, but when you're, you pay for a premium, you're going to get quality people there. So that's something that you, don't go alone. I would say that don't go alone. Yeah. It, unless you got a bunch of negative people in your life. Yeah, then then don't go with them. Maybe, maybe the best thing to do is go alone. So <laughs> maybe it is. Um, Lewis, uh, you have an event coming up in Los Angeles. You're doing your. You want you want to talk about that? I know that's oh, getting yeah, ready. I to mean, happen. it's called the Greatness Mastermind. It's for you know seven eight figure entrepreneurs who are looking to have a more intimate experience. Um, you know, with with fifty other powerhouse entrepreneurs who are mostly in my space. You know, mostly in our space in the online world, uh, who are trying to be. Uh, you know, New York Times bestselling authors who are launching bigger podcasts and bigger things like that. So, um, yeah, we bring in experts like the one and only Grant Cardone to teach certain things and kind of have we did an intimate dinner with you where people that was cool. Dude, that was really, yeah. really that was a nice thing. I, I really enjoyed being yeah. there with you and working with you and, and, yeah. and so many people that you're bringing together. And I think that goes back to the experience thing. Absolutely. It's like the, the, the time and energy it takes to put on an event to bring people together. It's a lot. It's a lot. And you guys are working your, you know, your butts off to, to put together an unbelievable experience. I mean, you put your first one together in three months and it was unreal. And I was like, how did you do this in three months? So I know with a year of planning, what you guys have in store, this unbelievable venue. I mean, the speaker lineup is massive. Great oh, entertainment uh, afterwards. Uh, the, you know, running into Lewis house in the hotel, in the lobby, on the Here's way back. the thing. Yeah. If people haven't got the VIP pass. Also, I was, uh, you know, I went to the VIP after party thing. Or was that your? We were in Miami last year. And it was in like your penthouse, and it, just the people there. Uh, wow, like some serious partnership opportunities. You know, Damon John was there, and other big speakers and names. So it's like, make sure you guys. CEO of and, Ashley Furniture, five billion dollar yeah. business. We're gonna so have sure a lot guys, of that yeah, this year. Invest so. in that VIP definitely because that's where it's those after dinner networking hang sessions where the deals go down you know lewis house folks the only place you can see me and lewis together is at the 10x growth conference in las vegas what's the date again 22nd January. february 22nd right february 22nd 22nd yeah, 23rd 24th Don't three get days right this. yeah three days the fourth days for the vips and premieres and uh so what what will happen is on Sunday, Sunday, the place empties out down confined to just the VIPs and premieres. So I'm giving them a fourth day. They don't even know it yet, by the way. Wow. Um, hey, did you hear that I'm giving a million dollars in cash away online? I think I saw you posting about this on Instagram. Yeah, I saw you like saying million dollars. And what is this? Tell me more about it. We've give, I've given away 200 grand in cash already. I want some money. How do Ca I get cash? This? Dude, you should do it. Who is Grant Cardone video? I don't Lewis know Grant why Cardone. I don't know why other influencers don't do this. So, so what what's the deal? What what, what happens? Well, well, this is what happened. Like like the my accountant came to me the other day. We have an annual meeting. It's always in December. I said, "Dude, uh, you know, wait till the end of uh November, December or the beginning of December." He comes in bearing his bad news. "Hey, your tax bill is going to be blah blah." So said, I might as well give it to my fans as And I to said, the "What can we do about it, John?" And he's like, "Nothing, man." Everything I've done, everything. I said that's bullshit, dude. Ain't nobody ever done any everything. You know me. He's like, Grant, I've done everything, everything you can, you can do. I said, no, I could go buy a jet and wipe out the whole thing. I could go buy a new plane right now, John, and wipe it out. He's like, that's true. I said, good. Then there's something I can do, John. Right, I could so give all the money everything. away. I could give all the money away right now. Okay, and wipe the bill out. Wow. He's like, well, that's true. I said, well, there's something we can do, and then. Uh, I said, Jared, why don't we just go, we'll spend $8 million on YouTube and Facebook. 
last three months, last two months of the year, just freaking just bomb it. Crush it. Well, they it it, it would choke it. Like it, it can't. Yeah. You know. So I said, hey guys, why don't we want to be as good? Yeah, yeah. I said, why don't we give a million dollars in cash away to people that follow me? Wow. So we did an Instagram thing. Hey, you know, post something about me. I'll give you a hundred bucks. We giving away a hundred grand on Instagram. Wow. Uh, I put on a YouTube contest and said, who is Grant Cardone? I would love for you to do one of those. We have rap songs coming in, dude. We got crazy, crazy shit coming. So you give it away at a hundred dollars a pop, or what do you guys? Uh, we're, we're giving. I, I tried to give twenty five thousand away. So many good videos came in, bro, that I had to. I had to increase it to a hundred grand. Wow. We have hundreds of videos. Who is Grant Cardone? And now I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I was going to pick the winners Tuesday. This coming Tuesday, I just increased it to two hundred fifty thousand dollars for Who is Grant Cardone video. Wow. And I'm going to give them to like, what, December, Christmas? So I'm going to be giving a shitload of money away before Christmas. Wow. Who's Grant Cardone? I like it. So, you know, we were going to do we were gonna do the iPad or shoes or da-da. I'm like, people want cash, man. Give me some Thank cash. You. Thank you. So these are like $500 at a time, a grand, $2,500, $5,000, and then there'll be 20, a handful of 25000 You're going to give 25000 away to one person? Yep. Damn. I have three people right now already on the list. You know what you should do? What? You should say, I'll give you twenty five thousand. I'm gonna give you I'm first gonna send you the cash in the mail half up front. You gotta do another video to unlock the second half. I like that. Something to think about. That way you double it up. Hey, if you want I'll give you fifteen grand right now, but if you want the extra ten, do another video about <laughs> this. Yeah. And then you'll unlock your second half of the portion. That way it's like double the promotion. Yeah, but aren't people gonna feel like I'm I'm like, oh dude, that that, that wasn't the deal? Yeah, well, maybe moving forward if you do another yeah, contest. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to figure it out, dude, because, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's like, what's the ROI on this? I said, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? I, I have no idea. I know this. I could give it to the IRS. I could give it to Facebook, or I could give it to people that follow me. There you go. Seems like it'd be better. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know the IRS is not going to promote me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why the IRS doesn't promote guys like me and you. Mm. They're dependent upon us. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I love you, brother. I love you like a brother, man. I can't wait to spend you. time with you. If you can open your time up, man, to be there through Sunday, like if it mm -hmm. works and you feel like there's value there, I'd love for you to hang out with yeah. us the whole time. If I already got a great gift on, for I'll you. Stick around. You know, I give great gifts when you come to these things. I know. I got a great, great gift last time. I'm and, excited. and I already have. I'm excited one. to see what I get this time. Dude, I got, I'm looking at it right now, actually. Don't show it to him, Johnny. <laughs> Is it a bag of cash? N no. <laughs> <laughs> Could be though. I'm teasing. Hey, I love you, dude. By the way, uh, oh, Lewis has got a new book out, Mask of Masculinity. You should get the book. Show it to me. Grab yep. that book. Grab it at Amazon. Okay. And uh, it's an awesome book. He's been all over TV. Got a lot of press for this book. And it's something that every man and every woman should know, man. What a guy's actually going through. Yeah. I know Depression, you guys all stress. think I'm Mr. Freaking Banny Rooster, uh, all freaking uh, confident all the time. That's not I'm really. Curious. What, yeah. I'm curious before we end it, because uh, I know you probably got more to do, but w I'm curious, what is the, the big challenge you go through that most people don't aren't aware of? Like the inner battle that you face, whether mentally or emotionally, because it always seems like you have thing. You're always on. You've got the confidence. You've got the hustle, the energy. You're Dude. happy. You've got the family life. You've got the health. You've got the money, the business. Is there an inner battle that fear, you Fear, dude. Constant fear. My whole life has been fear. You know? Fear of what? Can I hold this together? You know, I'm operating, most of the time I'm operating out of my damn comfort zone. It doesn't go away. Anybody thinks it goes away, it's crazy. Mm. So, like, I'm going into this event and, 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 you know, me and you've talked about this before. People don't know behind the scenes. January last year, I'm like, dude, I don't know if I can sell this event. I got to write a check for four million dollars. It's a real world. People are like, "Why are you so hard, dude?" I wrote a four million dollar check. That shit will make you hard after a while, <laughs> you know? Because I got to live with the fear every night. Elena doesn't have to live with the fear. I have to live with the fear. I'm the one that wrote the check. I'm the one responsible to produce that money, right? That's not her job. And and I'm not saying that's not a woman's job, but if a woman's out there is the primary, you know, like my mom was the primary. Uh, right. Uh, breadwinner of our household she but she didn't right. know how to win bread right, so right. she had to protect the bread loaf right so dude i'm scared all the time bro like i don't know what i'm doing i take you know i get a lot of heat online a lot of people say i do this or that it hurts it doesn't feel good it's mm -hmm. never felt good you know i've always been a little guy 
So when I was a little guy in school, I was told that I was a little guy. Nobody had to tell me that, dude. I was smaller than the other people. You knew it. Yeah. So um, I've always been a little slower and not the strongest guy in the room. But I had a big mouth. I've always had a big mouth. And your big mouth gets you a big fist in the face. <laughs> so, you know, dude, like all that stuff, man. I mean, I could go on and on. Yeah. Like, Yeah, sure. You know? What's your biggest fear around this event? Uh, around the event, it's just around the event. I know that once the number of pe the people that we have put together on this list, um, dude, just having an empty seat. I think that 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 concerns me. I I don't want to have an empty seat. This was Elvis's big deal. You know, Elvis had a deal in his his contract. He didn't care really how much he was paid. He's like, I'm not singing to an empty seat. Wow. That was that was in the contract with the colonel. There's an empty fucking chair in the room. You remove the chair. Or you find someone to sit there. And and I think that comes from because in my early in my career when I was I didn't have an agent because I didn't have any money. I didn't have a publicist because I didn't have any money. I didn't have a manager because I didn't have any money. I had to sell the tickets. Yeah. And I and I and I talked to a lot of empty rooms, bro. That doesn't feel good. No, I remember doing a gig. I flew from Houston, Texas, to Fort Lauderdale. Got an agreement that a guy would have me speak to his company. I I drove all the way down there. I had no money. I went in there, spoke to his company. Literally forty five seconds after I opened, he 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 stood up and says, "That'll be enough. Thank you. See him out." Wow. Dude, I drove all the way to, from, I, I flew all the way from Houston for 45 seconds. That's not fun. I was like humiliated, bro. Oh, so, you man. know, I carry all that stuff with me. The possibility of failure, not living up to my potential, overrunning my mouth, saying I'm going to do all this shit. I'm, I'm looking at buying a new jet right now. And I'm like, dude, can I do it, man? You know, is it right? Wow. Is it the right time? Is it too soon? You know, all that shit, dude. Yeah. What what like what fears do you go through, bro? Or what 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 do you deal with? You know, lately it's been these like attacks on my character. Yeah. Where there are certain people online who prejudge me. You know, I'm talking about a book about like opening up as men and like the things we can do to be more responsible as men and like how we can let go of our uh, 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 you know, and just talk more about these things, you know, having these conversations, I think it's actually going to help a lot of people hearing you say this. It's probably gonna be like, wow, that was really powerful for me to hear from like someone that they look up to, to talk about their fears. And I think, um, I've been openly, you know, touring around the country and having these conversations and there are still people, uh, there's a group of people who are like, your white male privilege and but you said this thing eight years ago and they're like holding on to these things and saying well like you're you know just kind of judging my character and i'm like i'm trying to do the best i can yeah with the tools that i have to really you know make an impact and create information and yeah, this book does not make me rich as you know right yeah, the book yeah. does not make you rich i don't have upsells and courses and things around this book it's like i'm just trying to help as many men women human beings as possible by sharing my story. And so when someone like attacks me for my story and makes these judgments of me, that does hurt. You know, it sucks because I'm like. But dude, you are an entitled white guy. Let's face it. Me and you both are entitled. Absolutely. I mean, I'm a white male. I get it. I yeah. can't. There's nothing I can do about that. But dude, you know, if I, I was black, I'd be a rapper. I guarantee it. Because then you'd have to say, oh, he's entitled. Because, because I'm a white dude, I have almost no chance of being a rapper or a basketball player or a football player. Well, it's more challenging. In it some is more ways, challenging. But other ways, okay? yeah, yeah, I mean. And I'd have to be Dominican to be a baseball player. Okay? And I'd have to be from yeah. Kenya to win a race. Well, no. I mean, there's some. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, dude. So so the Kenya dude is entitled Kenyan. Right, right. We all have, like, judgments and entitlements based on yeah, yeah. history and things like that. Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, but... Anyways, I, so I don't like feeling attacked. Yeah, I like yeah, I know like you don't. My ju like judging my character of like. What do you tell my, people my like attention. that? Do you punch him in the face or what? <sighs> the old me wants to react and punch people in the face. Like yeah, literally, yeah. I say that to myself. Like I wish I could punch someone in the face. If I'm being honest, I'm not going to act on that. Um, but I think that's the old way of being too. It's like it doesn't support my vision or my inner peace to want to 
have those thoughts and that like and put that attention on those 10 yeah, people yeah. that are saying negative things about me and i think yeah, yeah um putting all my focus on those people who are judging my character or saying bad things about me pulls me away from my vision or from yeah. making money or from my family or from my health yeah and so i just have to remind myself okay let me serve and be in support to the 999 percent or whatever over the one percent and focus my attention on that do my best to like respond from like a caring place or just not respond at all to those people. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if they're not going to get me, they're not going to get me. But I feel like I know in my heart, like I'm doing my best. But for me to, as a, as a recovering people pleaser, I want everyone to like me. Yeah. I want to please everyone. I want to make sure everyone sees my point of view so they know I'm not trying to offend them or hurt them personally. But I think I represent a lot of bad and hurt feelings for specifically a lot of women who have, who dated a guy that looked like me, who's the tall athlete jock guy, entitled guy or whatever, and he cheated on her or he broke her heart or something like that. So I think I just face a lot of prejudgment yeah. just by the way, I, since I'm a big guy. Yeah, you know, dude, you are. You're a big, tall guy. If I, if, I was, if I was as tall as you are, I'd have got a lot more pussy, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> you have been, the gift of gab, so just, you, have your own, you have your own Hit talent. the gaps. You have the gift of gab, so you have your oh. own talents. Oh, yeah. No, I had to make up for it. So exactly. you just walk into a room and they just start flopping. Uh, but anyways, that's the, the challenge that I face. Hey, you the know, book's the mask, of ma the mask of masculinity, man. What do you guys need to confront? Because I'm going to tell you what me and Lewis both agree on. Whatever it is you need to confront, there's a freaking tremendous amount of energy there. Yeah. People want to know where I get my energy from. I use everything that's available to me. So like all that stuff that's happened in my life to me because of me. It's energy. For you, everything, yeah. I convert what, it all, man. I don't waste what, any of it. What would you say is the number one thing you say in your mind to yourself that most people aren't aware that you say that thing? Or whether it's every day, once when something comes up, what's the thing that you Dude, say you to about yourself? To, you about to have a break, dog. You about, about to, have to have a break. break. What do you mean? I mean me, I tell my wife, my, my, my wife all the time, I said, I think we're going to actually have a break here in a second. We're about to break out. I'm about to have my breakout. I keep telling myself that over and over. I called Damon John the other day. I said, dude, little man, because he's smaller than me. I said, little Who? man, Damon John. Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, Mr. Fubu. I said, bro, when you, you going to help me be a star? You going you gonna to give me a break? I need a break. He's like, a break? Dude, you got your own jet. <laughs> I said, no, I need a break, dude. I need a breakout. He's like, I said, I, I, said, I need you to help me, little man. Break out. Right, I'm I'm on the I'm on the phone the other night with an NFL ball player. He's he, I'm gonna be with him Sunday at the the Saints game in in uh, New Orleans, and I'm like, dude, can you help me break out? He's like, what are you talking about? I said, no, I'm about to break out. So that's what I tell myself all the time. I've been telling myself that for 30 years, bro. I'm gonna get my break today. Do you feel like you still haven't got a break? Definitely not. What would what would have to happen for you to feel like I got my break out? I don't need to keep saying that. That I'm going to quit saying it? Or that you said, all right, I finally got a breakout. I mean. What would have to happen? A TV show, being on Shark Tank, what would have to happen? Yeah, yeah, TV, a TV show would be a big break. That would be a break. A TV show that actually got an audience bigger than yours. Yeah, yeah, a TV show with an audience bigger than the one I have. And, and the, 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 uh, the producers and the, the owners of the network, they have to bow to me when I walk in the room. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and they got to kiss the ring too. Oh my gosh! And I get crazy. my own desk with a little freaking bell underneath it that locks you're the crazy, door. You're crazy, man! You're stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. I am what stupid. I... I am stupid. But you know what? I'm free. That I get to be me. There you go. Say what you I do. want when I want, and I get to hang out with the people that I want, like Lewis House in Vegas, only place in the world there where we will be together. It's going to be a blast, folks. Do you ever throw any like? Do you ever play blackjack or throw craps or any of that stuff? Any of the games? I'll put like two hundred bucks on like roulette, maybe. But maybe, I'm not a. You know what? Maybe I'll just bring like. 30 50 grand down to the roulette wheel let's do it black or red and just like figure it out one roll i love it dude and give it out to people and say let's just play we're gonna have a blast folks lewis yes. i love you brother okay like love a brother you, all right appreciate you brother. lewis house has been a part of pretty much every vipers touchdown celebration within a few years he was making millions of dollars and helping others achieve their dreams through his book and podcast the school of greatness lewis 
I'm excited to be here, guys. Grant, what an incredible experience. I've been hanging out. The passion, the energy that everyone has here is so incredible, so I'm very excited about this. So this is how I run my entire business and my brand. This is how I think. This is how I breathe, move. This is how I communicate. Everything I do is based off of this next slide. This is a good dude, folks. Give him a big hand. Lewis House, all right? Thank you so much. Greg Fernandez, right. the man. Love this audience. 2,000 plus amazing people. We talked about how to tennis your online brand, build a, a celebrity personal brand, and make more money. So, Grant Cardone, make sure you guys come here next year. It's a game changer. You know, I can't even explain it. I, I think we're all we're all one decision away from changing our life, and the best choice I I literally ever made was locking arms with Grant Cardone, letting him be the one who spoke into my life and taught me how to create results. If you're ready to go to that next level, if you're ready for a breakthrough, this experience will transform you. There's real business being done here. It's real people selling real things, teaching you how to build a real business. I learned something about myself too today because surrounded by positive, motivated people makes you want to deliver harder. To say this was a business conference is so underestimating it. It was a lifestyle conference. 10X my business, 10X my life, several times over. You gotta be here in person, okay? Do whatever it takes. This, to me, is a transformative experience. Yesterday I sold $300,000 and I did it by following a couple things I took away from the growth crowd. These guys know how to put on an event. What really stood out for me is the hustle. I, I came up here to speak to inspire them, but the energy they had and how they're going to go out and change the world inspired me. A lot of good strategy. By the way, the Q&A with Grant was fantastic. Enjoyed that sales guy to sales guy. You know, it's a good thing. You, be, you better do something other than just what every, everybody else is doing. Dude, take your last pennies, your last nickels, your last dimes, your last quarters. You borrow money if you have to. You do whatever you got to right here to know. To know everything you can about everything. Life. Everything to do with life. Learn about it. There's only one company you need to know in telecommunications, and that's Bullfrog. Bullfrog is so advanced and so in the future, you don't even need a desk phone anymore to run a business. Integrate right now with what you and your employees already pay for, their cell phone. Run an entire business from there, from group chat to monitoring to call forwarding, and we will guarantee that you never experience a drop call again. You can save an extra $60,000 a year with Bullfrog and the plans that they have for your company. And for your free trial, go to bullfrog.net. That's bullfrog.net. Dot net for your free trial of this outstanding service. Go to bullfrog.net for your free trial right now. 71% of Americans aren't saving enough for retirement. It's going to get worse as people live longer and you need to start thinking differently. But you can't lose your time. Real estate is the investment vehicle that's made more ordinary people wealthy than anything else. Keith Weinhold of Get Rich Education is host of one of America's top investing shows, Disrupting Wall Street. He's an international best-selling author, a writer for Rich Dad Advisors, and has been an active income property investor since 2002. He has created thousands in passive monthly income for countless followers and now he has a free book, The Seven Principles for Creating Wealth in Your Life. Get your copy now at getricheducation.com forward slash book. That's getricheducation.com forward slash book. Because invest in what produces income for you now and later. Keith Weinhold is your guy. Sign up now at getricheducation.com forward slash book. If you are a business owner who needs custom software solutions through Amazon Web Services to automate, speed up, and enhance your business so you can focus on what you do best, which is grow your company, let Nico's Computer Engineering get you started today. With a free consultation, CEO and owner Tim Clark has spent the last 10 years building custom software for companies around the United States. Whatever your need is, whatever industry, if you need efficiency, Tim Clark can help you. Nico's Computer Engineering knows that you value speed to market. That's why we have the fastest turnaround and software implementation on the planet. If you want to get started with Nikos, go to nikoce.com. That's nikoce.com to get started right now.
Rethink user experience. Rethink the digital sales process and rethink how you communicate with your customers. Pixel 506 is a digital design agency marketing and developing company with one goal in mind. How do you effectively simplify your digital presence to make your prospects do more business, become excited, and never feel confused when it comes to understanding what it is you do? Working with companies like Future Labs, New York Metro Transit Authority, and more, Pixel 506 has successfully grown businesses, increased leads, and created a lasting digital and social presence to drive more revenue and increased ROI. If you want this for your business, you can learn more about Pixel 506 at pixel506.com. That's pixel506.com. If you've heard Grant Cardone talk at WFG's latest convention, some questions might be raised. Who exactly is WFG? World Financial Group is there to ensure your security, your future, and your life. Virtuity is part of World Financial Group and has practitioners of Grant Cardone, ethics in business, and raising the standards of living for those in the middle class. World Financial Group and Virtuity work together to help you get to where you want to be, financially and in life. Come join our team today and learn more about what we can do for you at VirtuityFinancialServices.com. That's VirtuityFinancialServices.com.